Listen, I love all you veterans out there, Army officials, Air Force, Navy. I'm not a I'm not a soldier hater. I'm from the I'm in the military. I, I, I well I have family that's been in the military is what I mean. I come from a military home. My real dad was a Green Beret. His name is Joe De Silva's, Joe Joseph De Silva's, and uh, that's why my name is Joseph in the middle. Um, he served the Korean Vietnam Wars and he was a sergeant, uh, and then he was a Green Beret in the Vietnam War. So I, I want to say I salute every one of y'all out there. It's a time to reflect. Memorial Day is a time to think about you. You see a Memorial Day person, whether a man or woman, a grandpa, a grandmother who served in the armed forces or Air Force, Navy, uh, Coast Guard, or any of those things. If I missed any Navy SEALs, I think I said that, yes. Uh, please say something to these lovely men and women because they deserve it. They risk their lives for you and I. Whether this generation doesn't realize that that much because they don't really know what war is, but for those of you all who really know what war is and to see people blown up and killed in front of you and see people, your friends, walk into mines and see them vaporized, believe me, that changes the way you look at things. And I tell you what, you know what it is to fight. It says, why don't we have that spirit in this country? Why don't we show that spirit towards the people that are, have sold us out? You know, why don't we do something legally? I don't mean physically, but why, do, why, why don't we do something legally with process? Why don't we do something to stop what Obama and his uh, administration has did in this country with all these crazy, unfair, unjust, really rhetorical orders? And not to mention the TTP, oh my goodness. We don't even know what's in it, but yet they're trying to vote it through, trying to cram it in. So they can push out all these ungodly things like things like carbon tax, carbon tax. I want to make sure you hear me. Uh, things like your mar all your laws being and freedoms being taken away that you have in this country. You know, Memorial Day is also about freedom. We're gonna lo we're losing it more and more every day. It was a lot more freer in the '60s than it is today. Shoot, it was way more freer probably in the '40s than it is today. People could go to school with guns in their pockets. Yes, I said guns, real guns, loaded guns. They just kept them in the lockers. I've heard stories from my grandparents saying they went to school. I'm talking about high school. Now, when I was in school, we were allowed to carry knives. Now kids can't carry anything to school that's a weapon. You know, to protect themselves or to use just to open up stuff. I mean, I always have a knife, but I, when I got in fights, I never used it on people because I used my hand. I didn't have to use, you know, I used my bare hands. I didn't have to use a knife because I had my fist. They were deadly. They could do a lot of damage. And they, I was a big guy, and not a lot of people mess with me. And a lot of people liked me, and I liked them. And I sat with everybody. You know, I wasn't restricted to all these stereotypes of what people call people in class. You know, whether they were dweeb, I loved them. Whether they were a computer geek, I loved them. Whether they were a nerd, I loved them. Whether they were a sports jock, I loved them. Pretty much, I loved everyone. Whether they were gothic, I loved them. Those who, who claimed to be vampires, even though they were fake, you know, believed in all that crazy stuff. I still love them and still sat with them too. And even those who were weird and didn't fit in with all the other groups, I still love them. Why can't we be like that with each other today? Put aside all these gangs. They're foolish anyway. And racial wars and, you know, listening to what the media says to get everything all going. If you really believe in freedom, then why are we doing something about it? You know, freedom is something that people, that these veterans died for. We're getting, we're losing it by the fistful. And some people don't even understand it. Some people think what's happening is perfectly normal. When yet we're about to go into a hellish time. And yet people don't understand it. That's what the TT that's what the TPPG is about. Trans Pacific Partner. Uh and this is a worldwide, you know, extortion on all government all countries in the world that are listed in the United Nations. This is so they can implement the new world order. They can roll it out. We can't allow this to happen. It's like the blue coats are here, but the blue coats are really the corporations because they're the ones that make the most rules, along with the bankers, too, as well. They're behind this push, too. They want this initiative. They want control. They won't let you leave this country with money, and they won't let you come in, in a lot of cases now, when these new rules go into effect, with money. And if any small businesses have, or medium-sized businesses have foreign accounts, like in Swiss bank accounts, for example, you won't be able to do that any longer. Because they don't want you having that. Only elite that's observed for all the elite and for the globalists and for people like Obama and his administration.
and the Congress have those things, but we don't. They also have inside information, which is illegal, to stocks. I mean, Clinton bought some stocks, and she knew about it because they told him. It leaked out on the news. Regular news picked that up, talked about that, you know. And, of course, you know, remember that? Remember that big icon that cooked? What's her name? The white girl that was on TV. What's her name? I'm not being, I can't remember her name right now. I wish I, I could remember. But I know who she is, but she went to prison for the same thing that Mrs. Clinton did. Hillary Clinton we're talking about here. You know that the new God that's already been whooped, she's already talking like she's been sworn in as president because that's who the globalists and elites want to be president because she's been bought off. I mean, why do we have a government, why do we vote anyway if we're going to have you know everything be rigged by the globalists now? I mean, what's the point in having an election process when we don't really have one? It's rigged anyway. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, mean it's, I laugh, but it's not funny. It's sad because it shouldn't be like that. Votes, elections were put in so people could vote people in. And once they were in, they were in because they got in there fairly by being voted in. What's all this part about raising over a billion dollars so you can get in? The one that has the most money wins. That's the way it is now. It's not about what he or she knows or about how what experience they have. It's about how much money is raised. I mean, Clinton's, they're raising a whole bucket load of money. They have more money than most candidates currently right now. And, and all these people are giving money to them, and yet they're being sold a lie just like Obama sold all the black people and everyone else a bunch of lies. Well, Clinton's doing more of the same. And she's following every footprint of where Obama's going to leave and leave off. She's going to take over. So, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Obama might say, oh, I want to be another term. I'm going to make another executive order so I can serve indefinitely until I die. Like, we'll be communists 101, because that's what they do in a lot of communist countries. They just have a president until they die. They don't do four-year terms or election cycles. They just dump them over, you know. So, I mean, you think about it. Do you like the way this country's going? Because I don't. Do you like losing your freedoms? Do you like being watched and monitored and tracked and listened to everywhere you go? I don't. Do you, do you like, you know, people listening on your conversations and scanning your emails to see what you're writing and saying? Or what you're doing on Facebook? I don't. If you're a criminal and you got a subpoena or a warrant to do that, that's fine. But they're doing this without those things. They lie to you and say, oh, yeah, we get those all the time. We taint them. No, they don't. They have what are called, what is called, oh, it's called something spike. They have fake phone towers. Well, they're not really fake. I said they're fake, but they're real. But what they do is they, they suck up all the data first before it hits the real phone towers. And they steal it. It's called skimming, but they use a different word. It's called something sting. But it's a new thing they've been doing. You know, sting grip or something. Stingray. Thank you. Stingray. And that's what they're doing with all your information. Edward Stone talked about it. Other papers have re released this information. It's all public information. You know, it's really crazy. Lawlessness is out of hand. I mean, we got people that were arrested just yesterday in Cleveland, Ohio, blacks, whites, it don't matter what color you are. They were just marching peacefully, not causing a ruckus, not hitting the police, not throwing projectiles, not doing all the stuff like they were doing Ferguson. And police were kettling them and arresting those people. This is uh, insane. They had like 70-some police following 12 people, protesters that were peaceful, may I say, caps hyphenated in quotations, peacefully protesting. And they were being harassed by the police and bothered. And they weren't doing anything. They weren't breaking the law. And the ones who they kettled last night or the night before were all arrested on frivolous charges that they were destructing. And they weren't destructing anything because all they were doing is the same thing that most of these people were doing tonight in uh, Ohio. So, you know, there's a big push for martial law in this country. Like I said, we're already in a form of it. If you don't believe it or don't recognize it, you better wake up because we're already in it, folks. You know, we need to take this country back. We need to get it back, hopefully not by force, but by doing the things I mentioned earlier. And I salute all the good people in the government that do have a sense of balls and a sense of valor and honor and integrity still. And they are stopping this stuff to a certain extent. But the people that are bad, that are signing themselves over to the devil, because that's who you're really working for, because have a new world order is slavery. And that's not what this country was built upon. 
How can a nation like this build itself on the will of God and build itself on the foundation to not suppress peoples when it's contained in the documents, when I mean the documents, the Gettysburg Address, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, you know, speak of all these things. How can we sit there and say we know all this stuff, but yet we're trying to push stuff that really doesn't have nothing to do about freedom at all? It's about slavery and about conquering and it's about captivity and about taking away all free forms of freedom in Congress and commerce, I mean, in this country. When the TTP, when the TPPG goes in effect, both Atlanta, Pacific, Indian, they have they have similar treaties that are written for all around the world so they can that's how they can help enforce this new world order mess. That's what this document is written. And nobody in Congress or the government has seen it except for the ones that are high up. I'm sure Obama's seen it. I'm sure he's licking his lips because he's all behind all this. He's, he wants this. His father wanted this for us. I mean, look at the way we're going. We got the borders open. You know, there's no control in this country. Uh, Mexicans are getting free stuff. Guatemalans, everybody coming over getting free stuff, yet we can't even get nothing free. What is that about, folks? So you think about Memorial Day. You focus on freedom. Think about unity. Think about uniting together as one nation and body. And no matter what color, sex, or gender, or what preference you are, forget about all that. We're supposed to think as one as Americans. That's what this nation truly was founded on. If you read and you study history and you know of what the Constitution and the other important papers that were signed and put in effect as articles of decoration to keep this country to be free. So this would not happen. That's why these documents were written, even though a lot of them they're trying to outlaw. And the most part they have, which it should still be in effect. It's Michael DeSilva's InfoWars. Happy Memorial Day, Alex Jones, and everybody there at the show in Austin. I love you. Keep up the good work. And please help us if you can, financially. Alex Jones, because I need it. I love you. And keep doing the work, soldier. For You're not a soldier in arm, but you're a soldier in what you're doing. You're doing the same thing we're doing. Independent media, we unite. I salute you. See you later, colleague. Take care. And please subscribe down below and donate to us, any of you who listen to this podcast. Peace.